Hello there, today I want to briefly tell you about the assessment procedure for psychology and how you can use what you've learnt in psychology to help you study for all your subjects. Think of it as a really good buy one, get one free. PPEs are always really super important, but never have they been more important than the ones coming up given the current situation. So I would really encourage you to put your heart and soul into preparing. So let's have a look at assessment. Psychology is assessed entirely by three exams, each two hours long, beginning with paper one, and usually over a several week period ending with paper three. Each exam is worth a third of the final grade. This slide shows the breakdown in a little more detail. The important thing to note here is that research skills are tested across the whole three papers and comprise 25 to 30 percent of the final marks. So it's a topic that deserves lots of attention. The course requires and tests knowledge and critical thinking, but it's important to remember that the most marks are awarded for evaluation. In November you will have two two-hour exams. One will be on paper one and one will be paper two. Only material we have covered will be included. I couldn't resist including a photo of a recent running event drink station. But on a more positive note, it's incredibly motivating to remind ourselves of our big goal, why it is that we've taken on this challenge and what we personally want to get out of it. And yes, even enjoy it. So what do psychologists say is the most important thing about learning? Take your mind back to Pavlov to start with. You'll remember back to Pavlov and what he had to say about learning and also, of course, Skinner and so on with reinforcement. Basically, in a nutshell, as you know, we tend to repeat the behaviour that we are rewarded by. So give thought, not just to the big reward that you're hoping to get from doing A-levels, but also how you're going to reward each study session. You'll also remember how important attention is to learning. Think for a moment about the last thing you learned about, maybe a Netflix movie, a class lesson, whatever it is, it's somehow got your attention. So ask yourself, what gets your attention? For some people, their attention is best in a low stimuli environment, one that perhaps is dead quiet, for example. But that's not for everyone. Some people work best in a high sensory environment with some background buzz or even people around. Likewise, not everyone learns best sitting down. You may need to include moving around. Some of my best uni revising was done running. Thinking back to the memory topic, what has to happen to information to get it into our long-term memory so that we can actually recall it when we need it? Yes, it has to be meaningful. There are lots of really practical ways to do this, linking what you're learning to other subjects, to real life, even down to what you're watching on Netflix. The more connections you make, the more likely you are to remember it. Study doesn't have to be boring. Tell your friends, parents, teddies even, what you're learning. One student last year told her friends all about the relationship topic we were studying. She got an A and her friends got to know all about the psychology of relationships. Staying sane. It goes without saying that this is the most important thing. Your parents just want to help. Tell them what would be most helpful. And if you're a parent, asking what can I do to help can be a really useful question to ask. Breaks, especially exercise, are really important. And there is tons of evidence out there to show the link between exercise, attention and learning. If you do find yourself feeling overwhelmed, remember the 60 second rule. All any of us have actually really got is the next 60 seconds. Focus just on that. Ask yourself, what is it that I need to do in the next 60 seconds, rather than what is it I need to do in the next six months or next week or, or whatever. Then, once you've thought about the next 60 seconds, do just that. Maybe it's study something very specific. Maybe it's even take a break. Focus on the next 60 seconds. Finally, it's absolutely okay to ask for help whether it's extra one-to-one -one sessions, emotional support, or something else, we've all been there and we all want to be there for you.